<sighs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Runestorm Citadel. That is one nice looking tower. It's probably one of the more interesting buildings I've ever created in this game. It's not finished, I know, but... It's nice. Could be better. So we beat, <clears throat> excuse me, we beat the bosses of the Twilight Forest, which is pretty good. Felt pretty awesome. And let's see, where are the trophies in here? Yep. It, it was fun. It was. But I I do enjoy this world. I really do. But I can't keep on playing it. It's not that I don't want to keep on playing it. I, I've had a lot of fun. I wish I could just port the entire world over, but... Every time I try doing that, there's incompatibility issues, and it gets all... It just gets all weird, and it doesn't want to work. So, the world is going to be gone. I know. It's, it's really sad. But, that doesn't mean that you won't ever get to see it again. Because... Yeah, I like how that looks. I was thinking, what would probably be one of the best ways for me to celebrate ending this this particular series before I start going on to my next series, which you'll see an episode coming out pretty soon. I already have the episode recorded. I just need to actually let the... I need to upload the video. Ah! <laughs> Stupid walls. <sighs> so how to best celebrate ending this series? Well, I suppose a little tour of the area. Our vegetable farms, which I managed to get half of them built. Half the ones I wanted for the veggies. I was going to have some more besides the veggies, but it's pretty good. Lots of fields. Definitely will never go hungry in this place. Of course, this is supposed to power the power the entire facility, but it's also able to be used as food. The meeting hall, which was really just for decorative purposes. It was fun. Having it built like this. Pretty cool to have. Very nice views. Nice helmet. <laughs> and then down here with the... The vast amounts of metals that I've been making... That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of iron. Not really what I wanted to keep down here, but it ended up working out exactly as we needed it. It was definitely a worthy investment of my time to have all this. The walls, which I finally mostly finished, I mean, they're still unfinished. There's still a bunch of arrow slots that I was going to be putting into place. But, for the most part, this works as a pretty good defense. It's nice to have it. Nice to see 
all this work that I put into this one world. The tower... Not even close to being finished. I was going to go much higher with a biodome. But that's not going to happen anytime. Then just all the various random stuff I have growing around the place. The bees, which I had just started getting into, but, you know, who really cares? They're bees. You don't need to worry too much about them. You know how bees work. The cocoa farm, which I never really liked very much. It's got lots of cocoa in it. Still, don't like it. Don't like the forestry version of farming as much as I used to. It was awesome before, now it's just kind of tedious and boring. In my opinion. And that was pretty much it. That's all I really got accomplished in this little world. All that I really built. It's not really that much, is it? I took a long time, yeah, but all in all, it didn't really come out to very much being built at all. I got half built a single large building. That's all I really accomplished. <laughs> Almost all of my work went into those walls. I am going to miss it. But the new world I'm going to be playing in, I've already... I've already got a nice little base set up. It's amazing looking, in my opinion. And when you guys see it, I'm pretty sure you guys might enjoy it as well. It's a nice style build. Definitely fits the theme of what I've done in the past. Especially with one of my first series on my channel. But... I was thinking that... To completely celebrate the fact that I'm no longer going to be playing on RuneStorm Citadel World. Why not let you guys play on it? I'm going to I'm going to upload this to my SkyDrive and I'm going to let you guys be able to download this yourself. Yeah. You'll be able to download and play this world with the feet, with the Unleash pack anytime you want. And Perhaps you can even finish up the tower. Because I sure won't be doing it. So, farewell, farewell world. I had fun with you. But times do come to an end, so farewell. <laughs> yeah, I am sad about having to end this world. And I'm just kind of rambling. Because I don't really want to end a world. I enjoyed this stuff, and I wish I could carry it over to the direwolf pack, but there's an incompatibility issue with one of the mods, and it's... I've tried multiple times, and I just am at the point where I don't care anymore. I just want to be able to play with the new pack and try out all the new mod stuff, especially with Ars Magica 2. It's a mod that I really enjoyed when I first started playing around with it, and I got sad when when I decided to end my Inkstar series. I never finished that map. But I ended that series because, well, Ars Magica had updated to the point where it was not really not really feasible to me to keep on using the 147 version of Ars Magica. Because there was enough differences that it just felt kind of wrong to be 
showcasing an older version of the mod. But expect plenty more Ars Magica 2 when we are in my new world. Because, damn, Ars Magica 2 is a great mod. And I wish that was in the... I wish it was in the mod packs like this one right now, like Unleashed or or the Magic World mods. I don't actually don't know if the original Magic World had Ars Magica, but I digress. That's the last time you're going to see anything from this world on this channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave, guys. I will see you in the next world. Take care and goodbye.